I've obviously signed on at the club for another five years and um, plenty of emotion flying around. It uh, took a little bit longer than expected, but um, I'm just stoked that I get to stay at a club I love and be around my teammates. The club showed a lot of faith in me early and I thought it would pay the favour. Yeah, really happy. I mean, he wanted to stay and, um, you know, it was just great that the club got it done uh, and the players are happy, he's happy. Half of them think I'm leaving, half think I'm staying, half of them couldn't care. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, nah, it's good. It's good to finally tell them and they've got to put up with me for a bit longer. So to put that to bed for him and for the club, it's a, it's a, it's a big signing and it's important for us. We lost there in 2015. Ground's a different ground than, than most because of the conditions. You know, we'll back ourselves in, but we understand it's a, it's a big challenge. I've only played there once, and most of the boys that we've got on the list at the moment probably wouldn't have played there at all, so it'd be good for a good bonding and a uh, good experience for them. But um, yeah, we've we got to do everything we can to obviously knock them off. All year we've been playing a brand that, that you know, is about role, role-driven footy and we have faith that anyone in our squad can come in and play a role for us and that's what we expect to do when we come in. And Without the big personnel this week, it'll be a little bit the same as the GWS game. It'll be about creating a bit of energy and having a bit of fun out there and there's, there's no reason why we can't go out and knock them off. Kennedy, of course, and no Shuey for those who haven't caught up with the news out for personal reasons. We know that he's oh, the, that's 50 against Brown. It's out of his range, you would think. He's got a fair bit on it. It's sailing. Oh, no. There is a breeze to that end. Lacroix drills it. Mad Jack. Little fumble. Vardy worried him out of it. Turned inside. Rioli. First chance he's had. Keeps it low and spears home. A brilliant goal. Matt Jack feeds it all the way back. McDonald in some trouble here. He caught it and then he rolled it in. Then he was caught in turn by Cripps. He's got a five goal game to his name, so he can slot a goal. And that is a ripper. Gets it in the Venables' direction. Couldn't take the one hander. Tried to tow it off the deck straight to Williams. Bumped on the kick. Almost worked. Mason Wood found some space where there was none. And they desperately needed that. That centering kick. Vardy up this time and completes the deal. Nathan Vardy in game 50. 25 games in seven seasons at Geelong. Been a good pickup for the West Coast. And he slots a huge one here. Darling hasn't seen a lot of it yet. Yo, the drop step and the kick. Delightful. It's been a delight to watch North Melbourne in this kind of form. From the scramble, yo. Stolen by Robat. A little bit of icing on the cake. Inside 50 for one last chance. Cripps drops the mark. But North Melbourne, an outstanding afternoon at the office from them. Got to give a lot of credit to North. We uh, anticipated a game like this and we couldn't match them in most areas of the ground. The only area of the ground I thought we held up was our back line uh, under siege for all day. We um, tried equalising, we tried doing a lot of things, but uh, in the end we got beaten by a better side on the day. Pretty clear messaging after the game, we got beaten up in the contest and um, North just outworked us for the day, so um, there's some clear focus areas going into next week, which is, which is good in a way, but yeah, we just got beaten up around the ball today. It was hard to get our ball movement going from especially deep in, in our back pockets, so um, it's something we can work on this week, but it all starts with starts with the contest. You know, we get that done, the whole game can change, so uh, something we need to work on. It's unlike us at the moment, you know, we're trying to play a real tough brand, and so you got to rely on the contest and getting some field position, especially on a smaller ground like this, and we didn't do that today, so we're going to give credit to North, full credit to North, and across the board, um, we didn't have too many winners. A lot of the boys will be flat at the moment and really be keen to get out there next Sunday, so I'm sure um, we'll hit the ground running this week at training and um, get out there on Sunday and hopefully get a win. Yeah.